Hi guys, it's Rod and today I want to talk about something which I've seen even really experienced media buyers do which is they duplicate ads and it's not really duplicating in the way that we might think. So I'm going to take you through the standard way that you duplicate ads within the Facebook Ads Manager and what some of the issues are with following the standard procedure and I'm also going to show you a much better way that you can duplicate ads and what the advantages are of doing that. So let's get into it. Before I get started, as usual, if you like this content, please go ahead and click the like button, hit subscribe. I really appreciate that. It really does help me out. I try to produce a piece of content every one or two weeks. And the first question is, why would you want to duplicate a Facebook ad? Well, there's usually a, two main reasons for that. One is you're wanting to duplicate the ad so that you can start with something that's quite similar to another ad that you have, which is not what I'm going to be talking about today. Another reason would be so that you can have the same ad in a different ad set. So you might be wanting to test different audience interests, or you might be wanting to test a broad audience, or you might be wanting to test a lookalike audience, and you want to test the same ad in each of those audiences to see which one produces the best result. Because when you're testing, you only want to change one variable. So if the one variable that you're changing is your audience interest, then you want to keep everything else the same. So you keep your ad exactly the same, same copy, same creative, same headline, same everything. So let's have a look at how you would create a duplicate ad the usual way that Facebook does by default. So I'm here in the ads manager here, and this is an ad that's um, had some exposure in the past. So if I do, if I actually do it from here, if, if I select the ad and I go duplicate, this is the standard dialog box that you'll see. And you see there's an option here to show existing reactions, comments, and shares on new ads. And you can make a copy. It includes all engagement the ad has had has at the time it's duplicated. So there we go, duplicate. And this is the duplicated ad. And the reason you can see it's duplicated because it adds on copy onto the end usually. So there's the ad there and everything has been duplicated. In fact, I'm not actually even seeing the duplicated comments, etc. but we'll have a look anyway. Oh, there we go. All right, so I'll just need to refresh. But sometimes you'll see after you duplicate an ad, it's just suddenly missing from the display. So if you refresh the page, it brings it back. I'm just gonna put in here a two so we can differentiate. Let's just make sure that's the same one. That's the copy. Yep, so you can see here that the comment, the shares, likes and everything else has all been duplicated. But here's the problem. This ad at that point in time becomes separate to the original one. So it's a, it's a copy originally, but it then becomes separate. So if you're testing this ad in multiple ad sets, well, the any social proof, comments, shares, etc., that are placed on this ad are not going to be placed on the original ad. But there is actually a way that you can do the duplication so that it all stays as one single ad. So any social proof that gets applied to uh, one version of the ad in one particular ad set will also appear in that same ad if it's in another ad set. So I'm going to show you how you do that. Now, the first thing is, if you go to the original ad and you select uh, Facebook post with comments, it will bring up a URL and this ID, this number here is the one that you want. That's the, that's the post ID. Now it's, I'm not sure if it's actually the same one as, let's have a look, 0216. Yeah, it's actually different. It says this is the ID here, but the actual ID that you want is different to the one that shows up in the ads manager. So, if I go to uh, the ad that I previously duplicated, and this is just one way you can do it. So what I'm going to do is instead of in the ad setup and saying create ad, I'm going to use an existing post. And if you select 
post ID here and you paste in the number and in fact it's, it, sometimes it, it'll, it'll attempt to work out which one you want to duplicate and it's already done that but I'm just going to paste it in just to be sure and it's a bit that. So now the, the way that the ad setup is done, so now you're using an existing post. You're not using, like we've got here, the create ad as the setup. And from this point onwards, whatever is done on that ad, whatever likes, comments, shares are done, they will also appear on the original ad. So that's, that's the most important thing to remember. If you do things that way, then everything that's done on that ad will appear in all the places that it appears as long as you set the ad up this way using this using existing post method. Now I've got some notes here. I'm just going to check on them. So the advantages are there's, there's only ever one ad. You don't have multiple versions of the same ad with their own separate social proof, likes, comments, etc. So that's one really good advantage. So you could have that ad in multiple ad sets. And let's say you want to test over three different ad sets, three different audience interests, and you find that one audience interest works really well and you turn the ad off in the other two ad sets. Well, that's okay. You're not going to lose anything that's been done from those other ads. It's all still going to be with the one ad. What are some of the pitfalls of doing it this way? Well, one of the pitfalls I've found is that if you modify your original ad, then that modification won't go over to the post ID. So once you've done this, you don't want to be modifying the ad, basically. Now, the other thing is that if you change, when you set the ad up, if you change the media in some way, so that let's say you've got, let's say it's a video ad and you've got a different size video for the desktop news feed versus the mobile news feed, the ad itself, then the URL changes and you can no longer just put in the post ID. So you have to make sure that when you create the ad, that you don't do any other customizations and modifications to it. And as long as you don't do that, then you will have, the ad will have this kind of a URL and you can use that post ID there to actually duplicate the ad and, and keep everything together. So that's it for today's video. So we talked about how there's the right way and what I say is the wrong way to duplicate ads. As I said, I've seen a lot of media buyers just use the default method and then a lot of social proof, uh, comments, etc. that you're missing out on. It's really great if you can keep an ad with all of its social proof and all of its comments together. That library, if you like, of social proof builds over time. So rather than, you know, losing that, this is the way that you can keep all of that information and all of that great social proof and get better results from your ads all in one place so that's it for today if you've got any questions please drop them in the comments below and once again if you really enjoyed this content please hit the like button click subscribe and just want to also let people know that we are currently uh, accepting more uh, strategy sessions for those who need help with it with their Facebook advertising. So we only work with e-commerce businesses. Typically we're looking at uh, ad spend of $150 a day. If you are spending more than that, you need some help with your Facebook ads. Perhaps you're not getting good results. You just need some fresh input. Then I'm currently accepting strategy sessions for that. There'll be a link below. The strategy session is around about 30 to 45 minutes. There's no obligation to, you know, go on and become a client with us or anything. We just look at what you're doing give you a solid plan that you can go away with if you need help with implementing that plan then obviously that's where um, we can help and that's why we do these strategy sessions so there'll be a link to that below if you want to take advantage of that and i'll see you in the next video